Hey folks, dude here. Uh, I'm gonna start calling this segment toe challenges or just hard toes. Um, now here's the situation. I basically got four good indentations in the, the grass here. And that's the other thing, hooking the car up on grass. Never a good time. And this really challenges even me. I'm not to say I'm like a toe guard, toe god or nothing, but um, it, there's a lot of work involved. And if you don't know what you're doing, you really can mess some stuff up. Disabled Corvette. All right, well, Corvettes are Corvettes, nothing crazy there, but let me put this in perspective here. When you go to the front of a Corvette, that's your ground clearance. Now, and the other thing, too, is there ain't much to hook to, man. These things are really, they're, they're really smooth underneath. There's not a lot to go for. Um, what I had to do on this one might be a little hard to see, but what I had to do is I had to go in there and I actually had to attach the, uh, like the, the A-frame, the lower A-frame on the, the wheel because... Structurally, there's just not much to go to on these cars. The other thing too is you have all kinds of ground effects you have to be very careful about, and these have tons of scrapes on them. I mean, that's the first thing that gets messed up on a Corvette is this little uh, air dam here. I mean, it's made to actually fold up underneath the car, and it's actually a breakaway, so if it pops off, it's not that big a deal. You go back to the dealership and slap another one on. But, again, there's not, not a lot to hook to. So let's see, underneath here, this is basically body for about three inches, and if you jack these things up wrong, you really, really mess them up. Um, there's all kinds of really plasticky things you can really bend up on these cars. Well, let's see what's underneath here. Nothing. That's right. There is nothing underneath there. Um, this is basically one of those things. It's like another day at work and you got to know what you're doing because if you're not careful, you just broke an $80,000 car. Not good times. Now, uh, in terms of the actual other tow guys that are on my channel, Dudes, you know what I'm talking about. Corvettes are a total PIT8. And, uh, well, you basically just got to hook and book and go from there. Good times. Um, I'm going to break up on this segment and just rock and roll. All right, folks, I got one hard and fast rule when I'm driving a tow truck. Um, or pretty much driving anything. If I'm driving along and I happen to see that, oh, I'm stopping. I'm stopping in. I'm checking the place out, and I'm definitely having a good time. As a matter of fact, this happens to be the range that Jason... Um, AV Arms 11 Bravo happens to shoot at, and I'm coming back with some rifles, man. This place is cool. Good times. I wish the hell I could have been playing this song about, oh, two hours ago, but seems the auto auction I went to couldn't find the frickin' car that was bought only two days previously. Ugh. This is the story of my life. They just switched around on a lot of designations. My boss kept calling me on the, uh, on the next hell. And, of course, I was saying, um, dude, I don't have the car. And he's like, well, can you walk around and look for it? And I was like, um, dude, this place is 500 acres. Ugh, not good times. Total pain in the ass, and sometimes it's cost of doing business when you're transporting for a living. Ugh, total pain. Oh well, at least I'm rolling. And, well, I got tunes! Ah, yeah. Flock of seagulls. Good times. And then, then there were two. Um, put it in perspective, these, uh, these are not small trucks. I mean, um, I got a 19 foot bed on this truck. I got the stinger out the back and I have the extended cab. So if you look at it on the, well, the way this thing looks, the truck by itself is every bit of 30 feet long. Every freaking bit, if not a couple more feet. Um, you hang a car on the back. Well, let's just see. Uh, a Mazda 6. A Mazda 6 is, uh, I'm going to take a stab at it and say at least 16 feet long. 17 feet, somewhere in there. It's not that big a car, but it's also not that small a car. So, um, if you do the math, pretty soon this thing can roll. It, it's 50 feet long, at least. Uh, to put it in perspective, the trailer on the back of a, well, your standard uh, tractor trailer is interstate length, 53 feet. <clears throat> now, if I park this truck beside a tractor trailer and I pull up even with the cab, um, usually, I can walk to the back of the car that I'm towing, uh, you know, on the uh, on the stinger it's referred to, or on the tow bar, 
and um, well, every bit I have about 25 feet of walking or so. So uh, this truck, even though it's under 26,000 pounds, it's pretty long. You really got to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you're a total screw up. You're, you're going to hit something or you're going to slot off the roadway and um, you're possibly going to drag the car behind you into somebody else. Never good times. Uh, I'm not saying that nobody can do it beside me, but you know what? If you get the chops and you can do it, it isn't bragging if you can do it. it it's confidence. And, uh, well, I'm going to let you guys know what it's like to drive one of these beasts. And sometimes it's going to be a handful. It really can. Um, considering the fact I got 300 horse, I'm actually pulling grades of a pretty good clip. And uh, this truck actually does pretty good. I really can't complain. This thing actually has got some balls. And, well, having a truck with a set of balls, when you're pulling hills, means somebody's not stuffing you in the tailpipe because they're going, I'm trying to go faster, like these guys. All right, folks, I'm going to break off here and uh, move out smartly. Hey, folks. Well, sorry I didn't show you with me putting it down, but it was pouring down rain, and it was a pain in the ass. But there it is on the ground, one done car. Okay, I'm going to call this one quits on this tow job because it's about ready to go back to time to go back to shop, tank up, and go home. Ugh, I'm bushed. All right, folks, I'll see you later. And as always here on the 80s Podcast Channel, I'm going to say, see you, and as always, always, first.